we always ask ourselves, how long do I wait until the next relationship? Yeah. And like, am I ready? Because we have this perception that when a relationship fails, it was your fault. So love bombing is scary for me because it gives me a false perception of who I'm dealing with. Yeah. Yo, you, you lose yourself mm -hmm. in a relationship and a relationship is very beautiful. Yeah. You know, it's purpose and it's, it, the drive it gives you is amazing. The, the safe space is created and, and then cultivated bring so much joy and happiness. Yeah. But you're always giving a part of yourself to yeah. someone to cultivate that, that, that relationship. So now when you're writing solo, like now, like the way you and I are writing, it's like, okay, I can like give a lot to myself. I like to say that the standard of how you love yourself should reflect in your partner. So, and sometimes it's unsubconscious, like, the love, we wrote in my title, title it's about our pinned, our pinned thing. You get the love you think you deserve. It reminds right? me every day to just take a step back. Yeah. And, 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 and again, I repeat, the standard you love yourself should be reflected in your partner. And sometimes if you don't love yourself, you will see the worst in your partner. Yeah. And that is because that's what you think you deserve because that's the level of love yeah. you give yourself. You want it. Yo guys, welcome back to Seated of Level and Tato Raveri, baby. We're back with a brand new episode. We're so happy with the consistency. But first things first, we just want to say thank you so much for tuning in. We love having uncomfortable conversations, which the youth are too scared to have. With Level's jokes and my insights, we try to cultivate a community where we can truly speak our mind. And today's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a great, great, great time. So grab your favorite seat, guys. It's that time of the week. And let's get... Straight, Straight into, into it. it. Yeah, yeah. So the first question of the day always is, how, how are, are you? you? Southern Comfort, some of us know it as Soko, has partnered up with DJ Chaotic. One original spirit with another. If you know Southern Comfort, the smooth whiskey base with stone fruits and spices, you know that you can mix it with just about anything. Lemonade, cola, or even just orange juice. Yes, you can mix it. Now stand the chance to mix it up with you and your mates. Because... Okay. Because Southern Comfort is giving away a house party. Valued at 100,000 Rand with DJ I Chaotic did. on the decks, baby. And if that's talking to your original spirit, buy a bottle of Southern Comfort to enter. Details in store. Southern Comfort. So tasteful, so original. Drink responsibly. Not for sale for persons under the age of 18. How's your sis? How's your brother? How's your father? How's your uncle? Who are you? How are you? What's up? What's up? Um... Uh, you're gonna go first. You go first. Yeah, bro. Oh, dude. I've been on some other relaxed mode for the past yeah. 10 days. Like, I think every time I come here, I speak about how hard we work. I have not been working that hard. I've been taking it easy. Yeah. I've been choosing myself, and it feels so, so good just to be like, I don't have to do that today, you know? I feel like we, in, we, we go through seasons where we work so hard, but we always forget to take the necessary break. And a break isn't necessarily like two days off, three days off. A break sometimes is like you just. Maybe putting in 20% instead of 100% for two weeks. Yeah, for a little bit. For a little bit. Yeah. And I've been doing that for the past weeks and I've been feeling so rested, bro. Like, my days are starting later. I'm still actioning out so much work, mm. but I just feel so good. Like, I'm relaxed. I'm seeing myself sleep more. Mm. I'm seeing myself socialize more. Yeah. Uh, I love when I booked an Airbnb this past weekend and wow. You just, booked it, I came. <laughs> I booked the Airbnb this weekend and Level pretty much spent, he's paid for everything else and yeah. it was amazing. Like, I just got really relaxed. There was a jacuzzi, there was, was an Airbnb, there was, was a two bedroom apartment, it was like a brother so location, brother staycation. And yeah. It was amazing. How are you? And we also like just planned out the podcast, took out a good old, big old white boy, started yeah. writing ideas. And um, yeah, you guys will hear the conversation why, like, what was planned during that Airbnb. Yeah. But how am I? Um, what a weird place to be in, bro. Yeah. 25, no girlfriend. <laughs> 27. No couch, no, no girlfriend. <laughs> no I'm, I'm moving like a man that lives in Midrash. <laughs> I just go out, come home to my bed and desk. And I, and I actually had a guest over recently. Yeah. And, and he was like, yo, you only have like a, a bed and a, and a desk. <laughs> when are you going to move in? Move in. And I'm so picky with furniture. Yeah. And that's really been affecting me every single day because I'm like, oh, dude, like obviously I want to like all out of my space but i'm also just there like dude i just feel like i have everything i need because i live alone bro yeah i don't need a couch i will never i'll never i'll never sit on the couch and watch tv bro Ooh. i have a monitor i have a tv in my room on the bed with an electric blanket you feel me but it is nice to have so that's some that's the battle that i'm going through right yeah. now yeah 
I get that now, but it's important for you to build your space. Like I know now, it feels mm. like I don't need that, I don't need this. But then, you need to, you need to pour into yourself because it'll make you also feel better as an individual. You know. I'm so sorry for disrupting this episode, but guys, listen up. I've got such exciting, such amazing news. My past ten episodes with my brother are now available on Spotify. And what you're thinking, Tato, they've always been there. The audio has always been there, but now we have video. And on top of that, every single video dropping from this point will be available in video format on Spotify because Spotify is trying to change the way you guys enjoy our podcast. It's so amazing that they now have a video functionality. So guys, do not miss out. Go and give us five stars on Spotify like we always say. But don't forget, you can now watch the video too. So I will see you on Spotify. But so guys, this podcast is jam-packed full of content and topics And we're going to be addressing a couple of things I've planned out this podcast yeah, to yeah. today We take turns actually yeah, so, so last week it was me Last week was Sato yeah. The week before was me yeah. uh, And now this week it's me So um, a couple of things that I wanted to discuss this week That are really like on my heart yeah. Was love bombing Ooh. How to build a relationship Ooh. And within that Gaslighting, oh, consistency, no. when oh, to no. post your partner, oh, no. <laughs> how to build trust, oh, no. standards, and we'll finish it off with reciprocations. Mm. Oh, and it, it will see, we have a bonus question, but I'll save it until the end. So please, please, please watch until the end if you want to see what the last, last juiciest topic is. Okay. okay? I'm excited. All right. All right. But let's get straight into it. Yes, so sir. love bombing is a term used to I'm describe- I'm so sorry, of that fan. I'm freezing. Are you not freezing? It's okay. I'll switch it off. Guys, so, I'm, Bye, what, yeah, so, guys, so our cameras overheat all the time and it's like- Yo, bro, it's winter right now. I don't think they're going to overheat in this, in this yeah. condition. If they overheat, they are going to I am freezing, but I'm not wearing really anything. Yeah. It's denim on denim with yeah. the shirt. But yeah, you were saying, Papa. Hey, dead man. Uh, <laughs> um, love bombing. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. So love bombing is a term used to describe mm-hmm. a behavior where someone sh- showers another person with excessive attention mm. And affection mm. in the early stages of a relationship, mm, mm, mm. often to the point of overwhelming or smothering them. Mm. Now, I just want to read one more part in this because it's very nice. While love bombing may feel flattering, and I want that, that's a very important part that I'm going to say. It good. may feel flattering. Feels good. Or exciting at first, it can also be perceived as a red flag for potential emotional manipulation or control. Mm, 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 and sometimes it's considered even emotional abuse. Mm. All right? Second that. And thank you, Google. And I, I, I thank you, Meta. Thank you, Meta. <laughs> <laughs> but um, um, love bombing coming up as a topic is very, very nice because I wanted you guys to understand that sometimes we can love wrong. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So when we love wrong, love bombing is a great example because we can perceive someone and say, "Yo, I want to do the nicest things for them," but if you cannot maintain that mm. throughout the relationship, so if the first date we are going to a walk, yeah. and then you get you get flowers at the walk, uh, and then take you for ice cream. ice cream at the walk, and mm. then you go to dinner, and then we and go. Uh, you know, where's your cream. place again? Cream, cream. no mat, no mat. Where no one goes besides the ones that uh-huh. have to go to find love. Yeah, oh, the yes. no mats. No you mat. have to travel. You have to travel. <laughs> yeah, on the move. After the no mat, you say to yourself, "Now let's actually watch a movie." Yeah, let's, Boom, come, watch let's a come back movie. to my place. Watch a movie. Comes back to your place. All of a sudden, now it's no, there's no uh, top lights. It's low light. Yeah, it's low light. It's low light. Papa. Gives you the phone. And says, "What do you want to eat?" Ah, it's yeah, the yeah. Uber Eats. Eats. <laughs> the date goes on, papi. The date goes on, papa. She orders. Yeah. Millions of rents go away. <laughs> no, because when you pass a woman, Uber Eats like no, she'll get a starter main meal. You. She'll go into dessert you. and she'll get a smoothie. You. Might get a milkshake and she'll, she'll even say, get things you didn't know. Oh, we're on the menu. menu by the way yeah should even tell you new features did you know with uber eats you can actually add it for the store to go somewhere yeah else. would you want some chocolate yeah you wanted um, you wanted to stop at the garage yeah you didn't even know that uber eats driver can stop at the, but my point is sorry <laughs> <laughs> hey guys we have so much pain based off our uber eats who we passed the phone dude i've once stated at home that uber eats like Four clipper on her meal. <laughs> I haven't even eaten. She said, can I get the burger, the ribs, the chips, the wings, the dinner? What are you going to eat? <laughs> First time with Shemu goes, I'm going to be like, I'm passing the phone to someone who spent more than 400 rand on my Uber Eats yeah. for one meal. Literally. <laughs> but guys, woman, if you if you are watching, so I need to know. Literally, yeah, on yeah, the yeah. comment section, Kale Kopa, please limpot, and what's the most amount you've spent on Uber Eats? Yes. And why did you feel so comfortable? <laughs> and women are so smart. They'll be like, oh, what are you eating? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, they yeah. can measure. Yeah, the, yeah. The, I love women 
this because I'll, I'll eat what you eat. Yeah, same. That's the considered one. That's the considered one. Those are the real ones. Those are the real ones. The babes. I'm like, how oh, baby, don't you have any favorites? <laughs> nah, she's like, nah, I'll, eat, like, what, I'll okay. eat what you eat. Give it two months. Yeah. Yo, let's get in raves. <laughs> I hate, I hate muchachos. I hate muchachos. <laughs> I hate something new. How? I haven't told you what you yeah, want. Yeah, boy, I love, I love. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. But, hey, but anyways, my point to go back is love bombing and how we can create this perception of love but can't maintain it okay and that is sometimes and keep in mind sometimes we want to do that yeah we can do that yeah. as men you know like you you sitting with your your partner and you saying to yourself like i can provide to this extent today today but just not every day yeah what do you think about love bombing? i think love bombing dude i think it's a very dangerous thing yeah i think women also do it quite a lot right mm. women like i've been in situations where women like trap me into love bombing yeah so they'll be like things like yo so do you want to marry me yeah. And I'm like, obviously now you're going to be like, oh, dude. One day. One day. But inside you're like, oh, yeah, I don't know. But then now when you say one day, you can see that disappoints them. So now you're mm. like, yeah, of course I'm going to marry you. Mm. Then now she's forcing you to love bomb. So I feel like that's another way that love bombing exists that I've experienced, which is very, very scary. It's like, don't you want to be with me? Don't you want to? Mm. Don't you want to? And it's like, dude, let me say those things naturally or organically. Mm. When I want. When I want to. Because now you're forcing me to love bomb you. And I've also experienced love bombing. Like, I've been with girls who will be like, yo, dude, like, I only see, man, it's been three days. Yeah. I'm only seeing you. I only want you. I mean, and it's like, this person is hyper focusing on the fact that. You say, mind you, it's only been three days. Yes. <laughs> of knowing the person. <laughs> but they're like, yo, it's like you, you, you. Then it's like, okay, this feels really good. Yeah. This person is showing me signs of extreme loyalty. Take them outside. You see that this person is loyal to you and you guys are indoors one on one. But when you go outside, they like very flirtatious. Guys are holding them in specific ways. They don't have boundaries. So love bombing is scary for me because it gives me a false perception of who I'm dealing with. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Very nice. So it's like, mm. and I hate when people trick me into love, bom yes. into love bombing, which is why I'm always trying to really put up these amazing boundaries to prevent me from love bombing. Yes. And, and, and with this topic, guys, I want you guys to reach into yourselves and say to yourselves what things make me love bomb mm. such as social media when you see you know dozens of women getting a bouquet of red flowers of hearts or mm. 100 rands and anything etc mm. or maybe it's just your friend just talking to you and telling you how her date night went with yeah. her with a billionaire boyfriend by the way by the way you guys date billionaires and millionaires <laughs> we date thousandaires <laughs> hundredaires hundredaires <laughs> you know what i'm saying so hustlers hustlers <laughs> 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 but 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 my, my, my point is look at how you want to love and how yeah. it can be sometimes misinterpreted. Yeah. So you see Tato speaking about like for example how a girl will look at him in, deep in the eyes and say, Yo, you're gonna marry me one day. Then the next day she can even be but chilling. But she says like you're gonna marry me? And you know you're gonna be like, Yeah, yeah I'm just gonna dude, marry y'all. Come, come on, bro. Out. You yeah, you're my blue house, you know, oh, I'm picket fence, white. Yeah. Talk to me nice. Yeah. Yeah, range room. How, how, how have you ever loved bomb someone? Because I think we've all felt yeah. guilty of doing it. Yeah, that's the part I was actually getting into. I was like, yo, I'm, I was going to ask you the same question, actually. Yeah. But I definitely have loved bomb someone by... I give a great first date, man. Yeah, yeah. I love to start the season strong. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. give a lot of the budget. <laughs> In the first few weeks. First few weeks, yes, you sir. know. But slowly, you know... Go back to my real life. I'm, I'm not. I'm, my job is not to love you. <laughs> <laughs> my job is to. My job is to, to go to the. You know, <laughs> yeah. my actual job. And what will happen is that, like, it will go from like, yo, we're going on these dates and what. Because I'm getting to know you. Then we know each other. And then I like going to the cozy path of saying, okay, cool. Now we're chilling in my crib or your crib, and I like, watch Netflix and stuff. Maybe we'll go out once, like bowling or twice, like once a week, basically. Yeah. But it's not as consistent. As it used to be. And I don't think that's a wrong thing, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not that's, that's not love bombing. I that, mean, that's that's just you. That's just me. That's you being, for me, that's you being excited. Yeah. Wanting to spend as much time with the person as possible in the beginning. Yeah. Then you're still maintaining that, you know, that excitement through a weekly date. Yeah. Some people will create that, like, excitement of, like, you know, the roses, the dates, the second mm. locations, the third locations. Uh, let's get breakfast the next day. Yeah. Let me cook for you for a weekend and they completely stop and I was just come to my place and watch movies. Yeah. So the fact that you're still integrating like going bowling here and there, yeah. going for a drink here and there, that's like you go for a date for once in a while, but like, but that's bro, realistic loving, you know what I'm saying? Really? Yeah, because you've got a nine to five. You also have another side hustle. I also have side hustles. Yeah. And you also like, did you have a lot of side hustles? Like yeah. you basically, you, ha you have your nine to five. I have my you have your five. own personal brand as your side hustle. You are part of a group channel as your side hustle. <laughs> I have a, we have a podcast, podcast together. Side hustle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like you, you're working. So I, I get that. Yeah. So, so at some point it slows down. I don't know if that's... So tell the thing it's not love bombing. Yeah, tell me like a... You've love bombed before. 
I can tell you how you love bomb. You can tell me. Give me yeah, that. Yeah, you'll be like, ish. You level does level things like ish. I hope your mother's like what what ish. I wonder if your father's like this this ish. Oh, when I talk to a girl. Yeah, so level speaks to a girl, and he'll basically paint a picture of him interacting with the family. Yeah, that's you basically guaranteeing marriage. You're and real. Like future with them. That's so real. So your <laughs> <laughs> so <you're> life. <laughs> so you're life but real with. though, your pops is going to fuck with me. But <laughs> like, look at that. Come on, yeah, Papa. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, funny. Yeah. I'm polite. <laughs> I feel like I can get to know anyone and have a good time. Yeah. That's not me, love. But that's me telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> but are your intentions to marry the person? No. So you're uh, life bombing. Yeah, but we can, you know, get to know each other. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's, that's, my life. that's how you love bomb. I love bomb by. Um, I'm toxic in the sense that like I'll give somebody all of my time in the beginning. Yeah. Like I will take you out on the dates, all that stuff. He be he be he be. Then from there, if I'm shooting, I'm like, yo, don't you come stay behind the camera and look beautiful? I hate how Tato like undermines his dates. His dates slapped. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was Tato and Betty's guy. <laughs> <laughs> like that ass, your your dates slap. Yeah, no. Nah. Tato do like a nice. Okay, I don't expose his format. No, because some people write me like, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, I wanna like if if like you do a nice date. Tato. Yeah, like if you're going on a date with me, like it's good. Papa. I'm gonna give you whatever you want. Yeah, it's good, Papa. You know, it's a space, I'm gonna. Yeah, <laughs> my way, I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, you get what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bro, I love a first, first, I love a first date. Like that's why, like I'm starting to chill because obviously, like now I've been going on dates and stuff, right? Yeah. So I'm trying to chill with like who I'm taking out on first dates yeah. because it's like I'm gonna take you out on a first date, but you're not a, a person for me. Yeah. So right now, the way I'm trying to get to know people. As I'll do this thing where I'll be like, okay, cool, yo, um, you know, yeah. come chill with me and my friends. Like, put them in group settings, try for more friendship. Then I find, then if I feel like, okay, cool, this is going really well, we can try the first date. Because yeah. the first date, for me, it's not the last one. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? But yeah. yeah. But with love bombing being such a, like a, a risk to starting a relationship, one of the topics we actually have is how to build a relationship. Yeah. And... Uh, I don't want to even describe building a relationship because I think that I, I recently just got a relationship. Yeah. I don't even have the capacity to even think how I would build my next relationship. Yeah. Yo. I don't have any lives left. I feel like Pac Man with yeah, that the one life. Finished. The paint is dry, bro. You yeah. Can't, you can't. I'm fatigued. I get. I was talking to a friend about this. I was like, yo, dude, like, I haven't been single in so long. Same, bro. Like, I've been, I was in a relationship for two and a half years, three years, I was in a relationship Same. for another three years. Like, now, like, let me be single for, like, at least... Two years. A year, brother. Yeah. Like 365 days. This is 365 days. <laughs> yeah. Also, I also want to be in, in, in periods where, like, I'm not talking to anybody also. Yeah. Like, I'm, there's one that I'm courting, one that I'm talking to, because it's like, yo, you, you lose yourself mm -hmm. in a relationship, and a relationship is very beautiful. Yeah. You know, its purpose and its, it, the drive it gives you is amazing. The, the safe space is created and, and then cultivated bring so much joy and happiness yeah. but you're always giving a part of yourself to yeah. someone to cultivate that, that that relationship so now when you're writing solo like now like the way you and I are writing it's like okay I can like give a lot to myself because we we're, we're very capable of, of being in love we can easily yeah. pay love can love easily we can, we can be, get married get, love get married have, have kids guys bonds. by the way yeah, yeah but it's like no let's pour all of that time and energy into ourselves and into yeah. our friendships and I've been really enjoying doing that yeah which is a good thing and uh and and the reason I brought up that question of how do you build a relationship or like is mm -hmm. it is it time for because you know I think that we always ask ourselves how long do I wait until the next relationship yeah. and like am I ready because we have this perception that when a relationship fails it was your fault mm -hmm. and you then perceive yourself to be like okay I have to heal and I want the people to who are listening at home saying to themselves no but I date right now I. Even though I broke up with Mang Mang and I date, I'd go back into a relationship. You shouldn't feel bad. That's who you are. Yeah. You know, I tell my friend all the time, uh, he's a big lover boy. You know, when you're a friend is such a lover, but they try to be like the the player role. Because that's yeah. what the society wants from him. But he loves love. Yeah. He doesn't want to stop loving. Yeah. And I always tell him, bro, if you feel like for a year, take a two month break and again for five years. Mm. You do whatever you want, bro. It's your life. Yeah. We are so worried about the perception of the external when 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 we figuring out our internal. You feel True. me? I remember even yesterday I was and I were hanging out and I was like, yo, bro, I wanna go to this place. And he was like, nah, don't he's like, actually, dude, go. Live your life. Mm. This doesn't like, I wanna go to you know mm. do this thing. And you're like, dude, don't you're like, actually dude, go. Yeah. Like just do what you want, yeah, bro. Damn. Like just do what you do what just you want. Just be happy, papa. <laughs> just, do what you want. just be happy, papa. You'll learn the hard way. What's yeah, up? If you like so, so if your friends Sorry. are living a life you don't agree with, yeah. you're just going to be like, okay, cool, advice, advice. But like, dude, do what you want. Yeah. Because there's certain joys that we can't give you as friends. 
as true. siblings, etc. When building relationships and etc. That's very true. But can I ask you a question? So, so the ideal, rela- what's the question? The, you haven't answered it. Yeah, guy, how do you build a relationship? That, that's what I was about to ask you again. Okay, how yeah. do I build a relationship? Yeah, what are the key things you look like? You're okay. like, yo, a relationship. This needs to be here for yeah. me to be building this. So for me, there's like a bunch of, I don't know how many they are, right? But I've got a couple of pillars. So the first one is like your drive, right? Yeah. Your drive in life. That's very important. Like, how ambitious are you? What are you doing? What are you accomplishing? What are you trying to achieve? Whether you're a student and you, you know, you're trying to get your degree while still furthering something, like, like you must be doing some things, yeah. man. Like, it's, I know it's tough. You're talking to someone that's that's got many hustles. No, like, do your degree. Just be passionate. And then maybe you're passionate about something else that you're doing as well. Like, show me signs of passion and drive. Two, attraction is so important to me. Like, I genuinely have to be physically, emotionally, and mentally attracted to you. So the physical is... I'm How do you get mentally attracted to someone? To mentally, it goes back to my first point. It's like, am I attracted to your way of thinking, to your intelligence, okay. to the way you interact with people, to, to the way that you problem solve, to the way that you deal with prob- yeah, to the way you deal with uh, real life problems in society, the way you react. So this also goes on to EQ, your emotional intelligence. Yeah. So I need to be attracted to that because I'm 27, bro. I can't be with someone who... You still have to build. Not that I have to build them, but someone that, that they're still trying to relax themselves in moments of, of, of heat. Mm. Like I feel like if we were in a moment in a situation where things are tough and hard, you need to be able to. You need to be able to, yeah. of course, express yourself and mm. feel the impact of what the situation is bringing. Mm. But you genuinely need to be able to handle your emotions, yeah. right? So that's so it's the drive, attraction to all three, and then from there, bro, be human. Yeah, be human. Like I don't like be human, and when I say be human, I think I'm I'm, I'm leaning towards consideration. Mm. Be considerate of of my time that I give you, be considerate of the time that I can't give you, mm. be considerate of the amount that I spend on you. Cause I feel like people, like you taught me this, right? Mm. Our relationship, like money is just a construct. It doesn't really matter. We work every single day to generate income, right? Every day. And when we generate income, we choose where we pour that income. Mm. So if I'm gonna choose to pour my income into you, I'm gonna say you must be like, yo, thank you so much for putting this income into me. But I understand the sacrifice that I am enabling in myself to pour the income into you. Mm. I'm taking you out on dates, which I'm enjoying too, which I mm. love taking you which out. Which I'm also having fun. Which I'm also having fun, but it's, it's I'm choosing you and I over me getting a pair of new shoes. Mm. I'm choosing you and I over me making this investment. Mm. I'm choosing you and I and building this relationship with my monetary gains over everything else that I could be doing solo. Mm. Which is why I believe it's so important to have consideration in my expenditure around you. Because for me, when I'm with the girl, mama, my money is your money. Like, you're not going to hold it. But if you want something. You can see it. Don't touch. You don't see it. Don't touch it. <laughs> you're going to bend. The eyes might become sore. I think, it's, I think it's very funny how there's such a fine line, right? Between um, the whole thing of what you're saying now about like saying, yo, I give you. But what can you like give back? Like the transaction. Because I think love is very transactional. This is, this is when I was talking about money, me. Yes, yeah, you're like, yo. I wasn't saying, what do you give back? Yeah. I was I was saying, how considered are you in me spending? So it's like, mm. you're seeing me spend, pour my hard-earned d- hours into you. If you're seeing me pour too much, you should be able to say, say maybe wait. we should cook today. Yes. Oh, I see, yes. What, I see what you're Maybe saying. we yeah. shouldn't, maybe we shouldn't go to, we've been to a restaurant three mm. times this week. Mm. Maybe I can cook for you. Maybe we can cook together. Yeah. We've been on two trips the past two months. Maybe this month, let's relax. Because I, 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 we do nice things this side, Papa. Yeah. So I need someone to also be like, okay, cool, yo, like, I, I see that you want to do nice things with me, but then, ish, right now, whoa, you know? Yeah. Just be considerate. Be like, no, man, you've been Uber eating us. Like, chill, bro. Let me cook, let me, let me, let me, let me yeah. cook tonight. Or, let's or, cook or together. Let, or let me get it. Or let me, let get, me get, it. get us food today. Yeah. yeah. Mind you, let me get once it once, every, once a week. Yeah. Once every five. That, that's that, not bad, that, bro. That, no, no, no. That's, that's it. That, that goes a long way. It does. That's four times in a month. That that's goes four a long times way. in a month. That's a lot, Mind bro. you, I'll do the other 16, brother. Yeah. So it goes a long way. So I'm talking about not the transaction back, but I'm talking about the consideration. Yeah. The empathy to, to my pockets. Yeah, and perspective is a big thing. Yeah, because people. Shit, I've been chopping. Sorry, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Say the truth, boy. Because people make people like I've been with a lot of girls who would be like, "Yo, you you make everything." Like I've never, first of all, I've never made a girl feel like I'm spending money on them, right? Yeah, same. but then because I of, have. because of how much maybe I'm spending, I'm it grows an insecurity in them. Mm. Then they'll be like, "Yo, don't make this about money." I've never made. I've never spoken about money with them, so they grow an insecurity inside of them, and then they make it seem like just because you're spending these things doesn't mean that like I can't feel. Mm. And it's like, no, 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 no. The feeling and the spending is two different things. <laughs> if we address the spending, let's address the spending and let's deal with that. The feeling, let's address the feeling. Let's not intertwine the two. 
Teto, women are like we spoke about this uh, in the previous podcast. Men make practical conversation, <laughs> theory based, you know, historic <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> women make emotional, you know, yeah. d- decisions. They'll tell you, "Hey, the money makes me feel this way," <laughs> yeah. and that's still valid. There's two sides of, of yeah. feeling. Some women, some men. Not yeah, some men, some, some people. Are no, even yeah. men will make emotional yes. decisions. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. Yeah, but for me, how to build a relationship? Yo, how would I build a relationship? Yeah, man. Oh man, this is a difficult topic for me. I think I don't know how to build a proper relationship. If I had to build a proper relationship, I think if I had to do it in the pillar mentality, yeah. I'd have to say she has to be beautiful. You know, she has to be stunning. So, so me under words type vibe. You know what I'm saying? Hey. She has to be cute, Papa. <laughs> you feel me? Uh, under words, like under words. Uh, my podcast crash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know she knows, but Yandowoods. if she watches this, you know what I'm saying. But um, Yandu Woods is the one. Huh? Yandu Woods is the one from... Yes, uh, yes, yes. The one from... What's this? I saw it at the gym. No! The one from Zile's podcast. Oh! Ah! Yeah. Ah, Tato! Yeah, uh, continue. Oh, babe, <laughs> but anyways... Um, <laughs> who did I think? I think about somebody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know who you're thinking yeah. about. <laughs> you're about... <laughs> 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 Mm. Um, but yeah, how would I build a relationship? Why did I forget a name? Sorry, I know that. Oh, know, I know. Can I sorry, my name? sorry, sorry, sorry. So, how do I build my relationship? She has to be attractive to me. She has to be cute. I really, I know every guy gets crucified for it, but I love my mother. My mother raised me. <laughs> she, she, in my mind, as every man in their life who has a great mother is the pinnacle of what womanhood can be like. <laughs> All right? All right, I'm yes. just going to say it out loud. Yes, sir. I'm sc- I'll say the thing the men are, are scared to say. Yes, sir. Okay? My mind, my mother is kind-hearted, bro. <laughs> my mother is kind-hearted, bro. She's a lovely she's lady. She's a lovely lady. Yeah. She's, I mean, like, she's the most kind, she's the most sensitive, kind-hearted. So she's so sweet. <laughs> she's the type of person she's to, caring. to feed the person at the corner no one's looking at. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And I really, and she's really, an and it's exactly what Tato said. And he he didn't say it, but I really like someone who's considerate. Yeah, I love it, man. And someone I, with like hearts, man. Yeah, and mama I, has a heart. Yeah, mama has a heart to oh. us because we're kids. We don't know how. Oh, but to the world, we don't know how our husband feels. Maybe <laughs> her husband feels like she has a half heart, or we don't know. We don't know. But my point is, to me, nah, yeah. she showed me a love that I really want to reflect into my relationships, yeah. which is a love that's very considerate, it's very kind, it's yeah. very, it's very sweet. Yeah. I don't want someone to come into my life and tell me, "Oh, hey, 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 this, what your life is is no, you go left." She must be like, yo, these are the reasons why I think we should go left. These are the progression steps that we need to do. And if you feel like this is the time for it, yeah. we should do it, you know? Yeah. I love a relationship like that, you know? 100% me too. But there's a lot of, again, because the theme of this podcast is sometimes how can we love wrong, mm-hmm. right? And, and gaslighting and consistency mm-hmm. is a huge topic when building a relationship, you know? Okay. Gaslighting is a woman's favorite word. I, mean, wah, wah. I, I use it against them now. Wah, yeah? Gaslighting. Wah. <laughs> wah, what did you say, baby? Wah, gaslighting. Quang, quang, <laughs> quang, quang. Yeah. No, no, no. So, real. And I think, okay, to be fair, I think it's because men genuinely gaslight. Yeah. Men yeah. are liars. We gaslight. Yeah. 100% we do it. But because of the fact that women have been, you know, bringing this word to me mm. weekly, sometimes monthly, yeah. sometimes every other day. I've also been able to identify moments when women guess like me. Yeah. So now I play ball the same way they play ball. Mm. So when they guess, I'll be like, oh, you're gaslighting me right now. Yeah. And they hate it. And they hate it. They hate it. Of course they do. It's, like, uh, t- uh, t- it's a tool. Uh, I'm doing what? I'm like, no, you just said this. But it's not I what I said. It's not what I said. You're gaslighting me. Yeah. Uh, t- uh, so uh, for, t- the, for the people at home are like, yo, what? What's gaslighting, what's gaslighting, guys? I'm in a healthy relationship. We've been dating for five years. We wish we were you. But um, <laughs> gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation where a person makes someone question their own sanity, <laughs> memory, <laughs> or even perception. <laughs> Do you know how good someone has to gaslight you to <laughs> change what you saw? <laughs> Let me read that one more time. Sorry. So, again, manipulation where a person makes someone question their own sanity, as in, hey, hey, am I, am I crazy? crazy? <laughs> <laughs> it questions your memory, 
height. Maybe it was maybe it wasn't like that. Yeah, he didn't kiss her. He didn't kiss her. And he was kissing me. He's he right. was kissing. Yeah, he's he right. Me, he's he's right. Me, he saw me kissing and me. And even your own perception, black becomes blue, mama. <laughs> blue becomes red. red. Yes, mama. So gaslighting is a very very big topic in, in terms of our generation in terms yeah. of dating. And what what I what I love about it, right, is that. It's teaching people to talk about the times when there's a disconnect in their communication. Mm. But it's been such a neg- it has such bad PR. Mm. But when a woman says to your guest, like she's generally saying, dude, I don't think you understand my point. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, yes. That's yes. Cool. Continue. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so um, it, now gaslighting has gotten this negative PR mm. where women are just said where, wherever. Hey, babe, here's the juice that you said you must get you. I didn't ask for juice, I asked for water. Dude, I'm pretty sure you asked for juice. No, you're gaslighting me. <laughs> Gaslighting, sanity. <laughs> That's the first one. I mean, maybe she said water, but it's like, dude, they are. <laughs> maybe she said water. I'm crazy, crazy, I'm crazy, crazy, I'm crazy, I'm crazy. <laughs> what can I say? What can I say? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but, but there are certain times when our communication is delinked. Yeah. And gaslighting is a great word to use. It's because you're really just trying to inform your partner, hey. What you saying right now mm. is not according to my memory, sanity, or perception. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Have yeah. you ever been gaslit? And and like, what was the worst time? Yeah. So before I get into, it, I was gonna say like, I agree with you. Gaslighting yeah. has bad PR, and we should be use, <laughs> we should be using the film of gaslighting mm. as a tool to identify that there's a problem in communication, yes. perception, or. Whatever. Sanity. Sanity. Yes, Papa. So, because I feel like when there's, whenever I experience someone saying I'm gaslighting them or they're gaslighting me, mm. what I do is I say, whoa, let's recollect how you perceived what I was saying and vice versa. And let me tell you how I received what you were saying, which was the vice versa. Mm. And then we'll speak. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Then you learn mm. that, okay, no, when Lebo, when, Lebo's, when Lebo's angry at me yeah, and he hears me raise my voice, it triggers him. And then when I trigger him, it starts making him potentially mm. change the narrative because he's perceiving me raising my voice as me potentially... Which makes him defensive. Be, make, it makes him defensive. It makes, me, it makes him, him think I'm angry. Yeah. And then now he says, but you're angry. That's unfair. I'm like, what? You're gaslighting me. Yeah. Bad example. But my point is, gaslighting should be a, a trigger to yeah. show you and help you unpack the lack of communication what a, dude, and so what's triggering anger what's triggering defensiveness what's triggering all these things because i feel like communication to master communication in a relationship all you have to do is truly um sorry you're still distracting me sorry sorry you have to truly <laughs> is understand what triggers the person mm. and the trigger is the thing that people deviate from communicating properly yeah it's perspective Papa. it's perspective because i know with me that like when someone is talking to me and like, sometimes i'll be like <sighs> Yeah, you'd be fed up. And someone would and be no, like, dude, don't I'm, do that. I'm not fed up. This is me thinking like, yo, she's right. Damn, yeah, like, but now to, it looks like you're fed up. Yeah, and I'm like, yo, I need to actually tap in. It's like, also, when I talk to you, Ken, I'm like, no, this mm. means this to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When someone, when someone goes, ah, you think they, they could be sighing yeah. or they could be like, ah, damn, I really messed up. Yeah. So you need to understand what people are meaning. Mm. Sometimes that motherfucker could be sighing and it's like, yo, dog, don't sigh. Yeah. So you have to say, dude, don't, don't sigh. sigh. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah, and then she'll sigh again. Then she'll sigh again. That's okay. Next time you sigh, I'm going to sign you out. I love, I love what Tata's bringing up and that's something that maybe we can all look into ourselves and say to ourselves, yo, these are the things that trigger things in conflict with others. Yes. I know for a fact, man, nah, I sometimes laugh. <laughs> so like, if someone's fighting me, what, what, I'll just be like... <laughs> <laughs> because that's I hate that I hate that I hate people that do yeah. that <laughs> yeah I also do it's like, like am I a am I I sometimes just chuckle and it's not because I'm chuckling at the conversation so yeah. I'm just there like yo I can't believe we're here yeah. like I'm like it's a, it's like a shock to reality it's like a oh no but as I was saying there's certain things that maybe you um, light the flame of conflict for longer, yes, you know. Light the flame and, of conflict, and we need to be able to identify those things and have conversations with ourselves as, as soon as possible. As soon as possible, before you get into um, how you build a relationship. Yeah, even go the back. Relationship. Maybe like go back in the podcast, listen to how you build a relationship. Come back here, yes. and then go back again. Yeah, because All right. you know, it's a very serious. Thing. It's it did. It's, it's it's a very important skill. It's, it's crazy. I was, I was, I was, uh, sorry, crazy. I interjected you. I'm about to tell you about it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I was at the, we were chilling with these girls yesterday. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, yes, ah, no, ah. listen, listen, listen. <laughs> we're chilling with these girls yesterday and the one girl was upset at me for doing something. Yeah. In relation to like her friend. Yeah. 
And then she was like talking to me about it. She's like, yo, dude, like you're, you're not a good person for doing this and that. And this is not good. And this is not good. Mm. So I'm letting them speak. I'm like, okay. 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 Then I'm like, okay, cool. I'm like, okay, cool. You've got your points across. Let me now also like tell you yeah. how I feel. So I'm like, okay, listen. With me, I just feel like, no, no, no. Oh, I'm like, oh, sorry. I thought you were done speaking. You can continue. Like, no, what were you saying? I'm like, oh, with me. No, 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 no. <laughs> now I just feel like, Oh, I've been here before. There's no point in this conversation. Yeah. So as I'm trying to tell my part of the story, this person is now interjecting everything yeah. I'm saying. And then that, then so that interjection triggers hostility into mm. me. So I become hostile. So I don't get angry or whatever. I just become, I'm just like, yo, dude, what you're doing is weird. Yeah. And I'm like shaking, and I'm shaking my head. Now obviously yeah. that's, now me shaking head is doing what? Yeah. It's like, oh, you're shaking your head. Yeah. Oh, you think you can, you know, you think you can shake your head. What? What's making you shake your yeah, head, yeah, big yeah. nigger? Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I'm just there like, <laughs> this person, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just wanted to show an example of like interjection and triggers and yeah, and I, like, and I like, communication. I like what others saying, but you have to also understand, you guys might be like, yeah, facts, I'm also calm. And like it always, sometimes calmness also is a trigger. And, yes. and that goes into understand who you're dating yes because if you're sometimes calm in the conversation you rep- oh, yeah you you're saying yes i understand yeah, that's nice that's nice speak again that's nice you know what i shout uh-huh. sometimes oh it's right. even better like talk to me i'll be like so, so, so i'll be like okay now you're right you're right okay i'll stop doing that yeah now the other person will perceive you to it's not like, care oh you don't care it's you like see? no i do care I'm, tra- yeah. I'm trying i know my traits are bad i know yeah. i can get angry yeah and I, I can say wrong things so I choose to maintain this this position of, mm. of calmness mm. and I say I receive what you say. Yeah. But now you become nonchalant. Mm. But it's like, no, I'm not anyway, yeah, yo. Yeah. But I, 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 I again and I love it because it's a thing of saying to yourself, yo, understand yourself. Yeah. Understand your partner. Yeah. And maybe you might have a good relationship. <laughs> There's a potential <laughs> maybe twenty percent chance. Yeah, yeah. But with building a relationship, consistency is always something that I think I struggle with. Yeah. I think You know, we spoke once long ago in like season two of this podcast about like how people are in love of the honeymoon phase, which is the best part of the relationship, Yeah, you know? But for me, I've realized that like my friend said it and it's been stuck with me. I said this in the previous podcast. It's a constant theme in my life. He said, if you're so compatible with everyone, how will you know when it's real? And that has been, I think we spoke about it for like 30 minutes on the previous podcast. I, I know why you, I know why you think you're compatible now. Yeah. You you see it all no, the time. No, no, you're wrong. You're not compatible to everybody. What? Can I tell you what it is? Okay, okay. So levels so certainly is compatible with everybody. I used I to am. feel the exact same way. I am. And he's not. Levels willing to sacrifice a lot of himself to make the person feel good and happy. Yeah. Which then makes him perceive believe, yeah. or believe that he's compatible. You're not compatible. You're just willing to make more sacrifices and meet them wherever they are. Mm. So you're willing to become this type of person, that type of person, making, you know, take any Adjust any myself. Goal. You can adjust yourself very well. Mm. So you are technically compatible to any person, but when you change com- when you change to their level of compatibility, are you happy? Mm. That's, so what, that's you- the question. Yeah. And that's the million dollar question. And, and I think sometimes, which, which now I love this topic of, the, what's your type? Mm, 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 mm. You know? Guys, let me tell you something. Né? If we could all have an opportunity to build the world, yeah. Do you know how different it would be? If you built it. If I built it, you built it. We all built it. <laughs> how would it be? It'd be very different. Mine would be sweet. <laughs> how sweet? How's very sweet. Mine would be very sweet. Yeah. Right? And now, equally like what I just said in this example, everyone would build the world differently. Yeah. Now imagine all of those worlds, right? And you meet someone else and you share your world and say, hey, this is me. Yeah. This is the world I like. And yeah. she comes and says, this is my world. Yeah. And you're like, ah. Mm. And it says islands. <laughs> kind of nice <laughs> yeah. is that a i'm sorry is that a lamborghini in the, in the house? she's like yeah everyone in the world gets a lamborghini i was like oh mine i have tez you know what let me throw away myself yeah and gain the person's world yeah. you know and 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 that again gives you an extra two weeks three weeks of consistency four weeks five weeks of consistency maybe a month maybe a year to you mm. but don't forget that you got the chance to build your own world and show someone and if they also didn't have that feeling of oh yours has tazes you know that's when that huge disconnect and consistency happens Mm. because what i want to give you versus what you want to get is two different things Mm. and it's sometimes very sad 
and sometimes not communicated, which is the worst one. Yeah. The one that's not communicated is the worst one I've experienced so far. Yeah. The one where they don't tell you they don't want you, but they just continue seeing you and yeah. what a It's like, come on, man. Let release me from Robin Island. <laughs> are you here? Are you there? Are you in? Are, are you, you moving? Out? Are we going? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Which way you are? What do you want? But with all of these and this overall theme of how sometimes you can love wrong, I want you guys to see that sometimes your relationships won't work out, not because you're a problem or maybe because of timing or maybe because of person. Excuse me. It truly is because we fail to have these conversations early in the relationship yeah, of yeah, yeah, yeah. conflict. It is of perspective, boundaries. your world, my world, yeah. boundaries. And, and, and it, it, it is an ongoing conversation for oneself as you date again and again and again. And yes, you'll get tired. But I always have this perception that me and my wife in my Cape Town beach house, you know, my brother's over, my sister's over, they come with their partners and we have a meal at the table, the kids are playing games. And I think to myself, oh, that was all worth it. You know, that's what I perceive. I see it as like that. I say, oh, when I find my person, all of that, all of the learning that I had to do of thousands of girls, <laughs> thousands, millions of women, <laughs> millions of girls, yeah. you know, even trillions of women <laughs> <laughs> will all be worth it for this one person that I ultimately cultivated myself to to be with. You it's, feel so, it's so crazy how like yeah. we always think that like the person we're with is like our forever. Yeah, I'm sure God's looking at us like <laughs> yeah, this person he thinks that he's fine he's forever. But on the consistency chat, bro, like for me, and I'm like bridging out a bit. For me, what I struggle with now is when I meet a girl and we're having a good time. And she struggles to give me like the consistency back. For example, like I'll be like, "Yo, what up?" Um, so today, you know, I'm gonna go to my boys going bowling tonight. You should come. Cool. She comes to bowling. Then like we have an amazing time at bowling. Thursday comes. Like I text you. Then she's not really responsive that much. And then she can go like the whole day not texting me. Then the next day comes. And then I'm like, okay, cool. I like to see this person again. You know what I'm saying? Why must, why must I see them once every two weeks? Hey, I'm gonna do this thing. Would you like to come? Then they mice. Or they come. Cool, whatever. Even if they say yes or no. Three times that happens, right? Then I, if I don't receive from their end, hey, my girls and I, or I'm thinking about going to this place, do you want to go? Or there's this really cool like cocktail place, do you want to go? Like, I, like, I like for us to experience that. I feel like there's no consistency in the, in the thing. So it's consistency in a, in a different perspective. Yeah. And that really like defeats me, bro. Because it's like, sometimes all you want is this one person and you want to spend time with them. But, but then they just can't like match your energy and your time. And obviously for them, it's like, dude, I can't just give you all of my time because I've been here before and like my heart is broken. Go back to chapter one. Go back to chapter one. Love bombing. So now you are giving... So now who's love bombing? Yeah, me, you're giving the love bombing now. Because this person is clearly not showing you the energy. Yeah. They're not showing you the time. They're not showing you the, the love that you deserve. Yeah. And you still give. Then it's like a thing of like, you are now just trying to manipulate them into liking you back <laughs> by giving and giving and giving and giving. Yeah. And that's why I said, guys, once you listen to what about the relationship, go back to love bombing. <laughs> go back to love bombing, subscribe, and then go back in the video. Yeah. But again, uh, on this journey of relationships and how to build a relationship, mm. standards in the consistency, in the love bombing, in the everything we've been speaking about, gaslighting, <laughs> everything. The standard that you hold, and we... You can rephrase standards to boundaries. You can also rephrase standards to what you value. You can also policy your capacity or, in those or capacity. Your capacity of gaslighting. Or yes. Gaslighting. Yes. Your capacity of what can you hold? What can yeah. you? What can you feel? What can you? What can you feel pain for yeah. in the relationship? But I, 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 I hate speaking about standards because when you have standards, you have no fun, Papa. Sometimes you must, you must let a boy pillow come and rock you. Yeah, boy. If you, if you have standards your... every day of the year, you're going to be you single say, the no, whole thank year. You, no, thank you. Oh, no. Red yeah. flag. No. Oh, yeah. no. She gaslights. Oh, yeah. sometimes come let them gaslight. Yeah. Gaslight. No, yeah. no, it's a bribe, papa. <laughs> <laughs> but you must only allow that when you have capacity. Yeah, when you hear. have capacity. When you can know, hey, okay. You can feel the defense. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can but, take a hit, take a hit, then you must just... But what's jo up? Um, jokes aside, standards is like a... I think a huge theme in everyone's life. We yeah. speak about it like what's your type, what's your, what are your boundaries, what are your values and certain things. But I like to say that the standard of how you love yourself mm. should reflect in your partner. Mm. So, and sometimes it's unsubconscious. Like 
the love we wrote in my title of title it's about our pinned our pinned thing you get the love you think you deserve it reminds right? me every day to just take a step back yeah and, the, and, 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 and again I repeat the standard you love yourself should be reflected in your partner and sometimes if you don't love yourself you will see the worst in your partner yeah and that is because that's what you think you deserve because that's the level of love you give yourself I always tell my friends especially my female friends yeah. who deal with this like the most that when we give to others, we must always understand what we were able to give to ourselves. Yes, sir. You can't now, hey, I give myself a Lamborghini a house, a Porsche, and you come here and you give me noodles. <laughs> I don't eat noodles, Papa. I eat lobster. <laughs> I eat ribs. Also, 500 grams. Also, to, to switch up what you're saying, <laughs> eh? so obviously, like, if, if, if I, Tata and Baby, love myself by giving myself, yeah. you know, premium, yeah. premium experiences, mm-hmm. Premium, you know, ex- yeah, let's give it a premium experiences. Mm. When I bring a partner into my world, I should also be able to give her premium experiences. No, so, and this is where the confusion comes out, right? Or maybe some of the premium experiences. No. Maybe, maybe she should just be able to be a premium person. What? Like, she's dressed well. She looks well. She smells well. Oh, no, no, no. So it I- can translate into a different avenue than you perceive. So, whenever you can have premium experiences and whatever, what, that's the level you love yourself, which means a lot, ne? Your partner must reflect that. When you go to those premium experiences, that person must increase the premium experience. 100%. 100%. You understand what I'm 100%. saying? So that's, so that's basically like dating within your... Yes. Within your tax bracket. And love your, bracket. Your Let's love call bracket. it the love bracket. Love bracket. But yeah. we're talking about finances. Yeah. I want to switch up what you say. I agree with you. Yeah. I think you should date people within your tax bracket yeah. or one tax bracket below one tax bracket. Love bracket. Love, love bracket. bracket. <laughs> I want to say, if I enjoy premium experiences, if I bring a partner into my life, they should also be able to enjoy the premium experiences that I give, right? Because that's how I love myself. Yes. But one thing guys do is that they give themselves mediocre experiences, they bring a girl in and then they give a girl premium experiences. So we need to stop doing this thing where we love our partners more than we love ourselves. ourselves. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. So if I'm going to, if I usually eat beacon bites and now Ntabi Singh comes and she's always eating and you hate Ntabi Singh. You use Ntabi Singh every <laughs> podcast. <laughs> and you know what? Can we get a new female it's name? Because, it's because of um, Sipo. Sipo used to use Ntabi Singh. Oh, really? Letters. Yeah, okay, okay, everything. So Ntabi Singh! <laughs> <laughs> okay, go okay, ahead. Let's, let's go. I think I like, I like the, the name Boy Pelo. Yeah. Let's go Boy Pelo. So I'm always eating beacon bites. Yeah. And Boy Pelo comes, she goes, oh no, I only eat... Doritos. Marshmallows coated in oh. caviar. Yeah. Right? Chocolate. Now, every time she comes, I'm giving her marshmallows coated in caviar and chocolate. Mm. But I, I'm a beacon bites type of person. Yeah. So for me, it's a thing of like, okay, if I like beacon bites, then shut. I eat beacon bites. I can afford that thing, but I choose beacon bites. But my point is that like, if you're not able to even choose a snack for yourself, but someone comes in, and you can get them all the snacks in the world. There's a problem. There's a serious. You problem. can't pick what to eat on on Uber Eats, but she's ordering the four hundred rand that we mentioned earlier. Yes. There is a problem. Like bro. gents and even ladies, ladies, you guys, ladies, ladies do you guys it are, worse. Like because ladies love oh, dating. They love us. They love us. They love, bro. They love guys. build a gent. You guys love, you love build a gent. Remember build a bear. Yeah, yeah. They, they love build a gent. Yeah, they, they yeah. love it. Ladies, don't give this guy things that you struggle to give to yourself. yourself. And don't give this guy things that he wouldn't even on a normal day give himself, even if he can afford it. By the way, it doesn't have to be monetary. It can also be time, which is so painful. Mm. Which is so so painful. You can't even give yourself time to read a book, but you're giving. But you're giving time an, to, an, to, to to drive your car everywhere. Everywhere. You can even come over, chill, sleep, <laughs> cut his toenails, <laughs> bye, come back, cut the other toenail. You know, take your car, but, come but go. You, you won't even go to your hair. Yeah, guys, it's yeah. Um, and 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 it's like I said, the standard of what you love yourself should reflect on your partner. And if it doesn't, you're in the wrong place. Mm. And it can come out in conflict. It can come out in... Suppressed uh, anger. Suppressed anger. It can come out in approach to life, dreams, Daily ideology, moves. policies. It can come out in dating. It can come in talking stage. Come out any point in your relationship. Yeah. Which is why... The bonus... Guys, you know what I'm realizing, man? I used to be so bad at speaking. Like, we're getting better at talking, yeah. bro. Like, fuck. Like, <laughs> like, we're getting better at talking. And I think it's because we're speaking for hours every day, like, on a podcast. Yeah. Like, I know it took us over, what, 40 episodes <laughs> for us to, like, to be able to, like, come up with the sentence <laughs> properly without thinking, uh, 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 e, uh, e. Yeah, boy. I was going to say, shut up. But yeah, guys, this conversation has been amazing. I want us to go into, obviously, movies of the week, uh, podcasters of the week. We're adding that one. 
content creators of the week and then don't forget guys we have channel membership so if you guys want to come and support the channel there are two ways the first way is the insiders baby that's where you pay i think 149 rand every single month and you guys get extra content from c to level baby as well as thought digest and there's so much more coming later then you can just be close friends and that's basically you saying thank you for us existing and having this podcast and you just giving back to us for a little bit of updates here and there when we launch new things uh also just some behind the scenes um like notifications and messages which will be coming in again this week but insiders we're going to continue the conversation it's gonna be dope. Level, yeah. we tell them, or they'll see when they get. Ah, there. get inside. Get inside. Get in the club, Papa. <laughs> get in the club, Papa. VIP, baby. Yeah. But yeah, so my current favorite movie that we watched over this weekend. I uh, we had some friends over. Oh, that was a bang. Uh, it was Carrie. That was a bang. Carrie was so good. It's a horror movie. I think it's on Netflix, if I'm not mistaken. It is such an amazing movie. I used to love watching movies of people getting powers, and I love when someone discovers they have powers. What they do. This was just amazing for me. Like it, it's it, it was so memorable based off of the things that I've grew up seeing. What's the way when something is mem- mem- relatable? It's basically memorable. it sparked memories of me watching movies when I was a child, right? Nostalgia. I was nostalgic as as hell. Yeah. So I really enjoyed like its nostalgic elements. I just enjoyed like her as a character. I watched it with my brother and like making jokes, people, jokes the whole time. <laughs> well, like hey, if if I had a daughter like this, I yeah yeah yeah. <laughs> then you meet the mother and it's like oh that's why yeah, she's I like. Like, <laughs> like I rewatched that movie. Yeah. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, and then series I'm watching uh, Vikings Valhalla. I'm rewatching it. I'm really enjoying it. Love love the Greenlanders. Um, and then should I do all of mine since I'm on, I'm on a roll yeah go ahead bro. okay favorite podcast right now I've actually been watching um, Ocean's Grey's podcast it's, it's really cool like I'd been seeing her post it so much man. she's pushing it and I never never really like actually watched it I watched an episode over the weekend for the first time I think I watched an interview with her and um, which one did you watch one of Oman the lady with, from Big Brother uh, Zinke. Zinke I watched the episode with her Zinke it's so sh- shot amazing Ocean is so just she's so well spoken, bro. Like she's yeah. such an amazing creator, such an amazing host. Really proud of that podcast. It's nice to have podcasts that are just done on a professional level, uh-huh. and it's not about gossip and who did this and who did that. It's like you know you're getting to know somebody, you're getting to learn something. We're just talking shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's that was really nice. And then content creator, um, who have I really been messing with content wise? Yeah, no one, no one. Okay. The one that I can say. I'll I go backwards. So content creator, I'm gonna say me. Uh, <laughs> No, only because I need to show myself love sometimes, bro. Yeah, I woke up today, I watched my content, and last episode I was talking so much bad negativity on my my content experience. Yeah. So I want to say, like today, I watched my content and guys, I bang. Yeah. So I'm saying me. Yes. Watch my TikTok. <laughs> um, favorite movie, right? guys. I'm so embarrassed. I feel like Tato's become because of me. Actually, I feel as if I. <laughs> He's become such a movie and series head, and I have just fallen apart from movies and series. Yeah, I, I feel I, like I've watched. I, I used to always be like, I don't know, Lebo, you go. Yo, boy, like. And I was like, boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. I, I don't, guys, I've watched everything. Yeah. I've con- I'm convinced. I think I recommend the movie because I still haven't watched this. I think people need to hear it the third time. Um, Which one? Gossip Girl, not Gossip Girl. Oh, the series. No, I'll get, I'll, the get to, I'll get to that. I'm talking about movie now. Oh, movies. Okay, good movie that I watched recently. There has been no good movies that I've watched recently. Well, with a friend over the weekend, she kept making us watch movies, guys. They were so explicit. So we can't even explain those. Oh, movies. yeah. We watched, I did not enjoy that <laughs> one. Um, okay, I'll just say no movie. No okay. movie. Right now, in terms of series, I'm watching House of Dragons. And I'm watching... Mm, mm, I'm also there. I'm watching House of Dragons. Very good stuff. I just I watched it because of you last week. Mm. Which is funny now because I used to, you used to watch my thing. You yeah. see, <laughs> it's a complete fifty. But anyways, I'm watching House of Dragons. Mm-hmm. I'm watching All American. I'm watching All American is basically a, a series played by a young man from the hood who gets an opportunity to play at a Beverly Hills high school, where he then discovers a lot of mystery that comes from his family as well as his love life. It's a classic love story with high school elements. You know, cheating, whatever, yeah. parties, and etc. Basically, um, a good blood and water. I want to say that. No, I, I, everyone knows on the internet, I don't like blood and water. <laughs> but yeah, a good blood and water. And it's all American. Football star. Get yeah. to see him shine. Get to become, yeah. But great series. Um, what other series can I recommend? And I also want to start recommending anime. I watch a lot of anime, guys. Yeah, so I don't do watch do all it, the do time. It, do it, do it. What do you guys call it? Um, real people. Real. <laughs> but anime I've been watching right now. I've been watching One Piece. I've been watching. I've been watching One Piece for years. Yeah, it's a lot of episodes been watching one piece i've been watching i rewatched these guys and i've been watching demon slayer had the best ending for an anime series um 
so far, in my opinion, for this year. Yeah. Um, great, 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 great episodes. And then content creator, I said. And then what else is the movie content creator? And you're what? good. You're Podcaster. Good. You don't have to do podcaster. Podcaster, I want you guys to try out Jay Shetty. Now, Jay Shetty oh, wow. is an international superstar. That's what so I'm trying to do with my I don't know movie. if we'll ever get there. That's, I think oh, no, Tato, Tato's going to get there. I want Tato to become Jay Shetty, guys. Yes. I beg him. <laughs> I beg him. I think it would be a good look for him. The lights <laughs> and everything. Um, but yeah. But yeah, that's me. That's we'll see day. you guys in Close Friends and yeah, members yeah. only. Insiders, let's go. Ew. Ray Bans and Catamarans. Baby, give me a life. I'll be living a life. Ray Bans and Catamarans.